One of the best rivalries inside the San Francisco 49ers is between quarterback Brock Purdy and his tight end, George Kittle. I'm sure you know already, but if you didn't, both of them went to rival colleges. Obviously, Brock Purdy being Mr. Irrelevant out of Iowa State and, of course, George Kittle being out of Iowa. So those two teams played each other this past weekend. And as a result, we have a little bit of revenge happening here because last year, as you can see in this photo right here of the big Iowa Hawkeye head, that's Brock Purdy underneath there. I can make it even bigger for you. You can take a look. And so as you can see in the other photo uh, from Cam Inman is that George Kittle is rocking Brock Purdy's helmet from college. And you want to learn a little bit more about why that is? Take a look at George Kittle talking about it right here. So why are we wearing the helmet today? Um, oh. Iowa lost to Iowa State. It was tough at home. Hate to see it. Uh, but unfortunately, the better Iowa team won that day. You guys had a big lead in the game. Were you feeling confident early on? <laughs> I was, yes, unfortunately. But that's when you usually lose, when you're confident. How quickly did Brock reach out to you? Oh, this is a small helmet. Kid size? Um, pretty quickly. Yeah, he texted me the score instantly. I said, thank you, Brock. You ruined my whole weekend. It's very fun. Today. The exact same thing as me right now. Is that his old helmet? Yeah, Is smells it? like it. <laughs> Thanks, Brock. But, uh, you yeah, know, I had my Iowa helmet out here, too. I tried to put a dark visor on this, but Brock didn't want me to do that. But it's I get it. It makes sense. <laughs> do you have any other bids going this college football season? Oh, dear. Hopefully only ones that I win. Um, I don't know anyone on the team from Troy, so... We'll see when I get there. I think we play uh, Ohio State pretty soon in Minnesota. We'll, we'll figure some stuff out. Speaking of Iowa, I think this is the closest game on the NFL schedule to, to both of the campuses, Iowa and Iowa State. Will you have people that, that you know from, from Iowa make the trip up? Yes, actually, um, I have like 20 of my mom's side family members showing up. You know, my mom's, uh, she's one of 10 girls. And so, yeah, 20 members are coming from that side. I know a lot of people in Minneapolis. I have like 25 to 30 people there. George, since you're wearing the helmet, what yep. are the pros and cons of the shield over the eyes? There? Oh, dear. I did lose a bet. Floyd, help me out. Pros and cons? I actually couldn't wear one because, like, I spit and stuff, and it would get everywhere. So I don't know how people do this. Um, it does dim the lights of these bright cameras a little bit, though. I will say that. So maybe that's why people, you know, it dims the lights. Why people like them. Any, any like, Minnesota football questions? Yeah, this video right here kind of sparked that we knew something was coming just based on last season and Brock Purdy having to pay the punishment that he did in front of the media. And of course, this video was posted to his wife's Instagram story of just showing how hyped he was with the game winning field goal that put Iowa State over Iowa. And you can see George's tweet in response to it by saying, I feel attacked. And as a result, he had to pay the price, and again, payback was served. This time, Brock Purdy got the last laugh. So uh, this is pretty funny. Uh, you love to see this type of stuff within the locker room, especially these guys uh, giving each other a hard time over their schools and rivalries and all those different types of things. We've heard from George that their first introduction to each other was over this rivalry between their schools. George tells the story that he put an Iowa Hawkeye shirt into Brock Purdy's um, into his little area in the locker room. And he says, Brock, like, it's funny. It's actually hilarious because Brock went on the Rich Eisen show to talk about this. When when Kittle told the story, there's a lot of expletives in it. Kittle, when he was here, told us that when you first showed up, he stuck an Iowa shirt in your locker. And you grabbed it and cursed him out, is basically what he said. Brock's first day, I hung an Iowa football shirt in his locker, which was phenomenal. And he instantly takes it out because he's like two lockers down from me. He goes, you put this fuck in here? <laughs> just get this, get this shit out of my locker. And I'm just like, nah, I'm going to like you. I absolutely know that already. Just like tosses it on the ground. I was like, respect. I love that. That's what he said to you? Oh, yeah, get this shit out of my locker. I was like, phenomenal. Kill, nah, dude. He, uh... <laughs> 
I'm not going to say anything about George, but <laughs> I, I love him. But that is not true. The cursing part. Oh. I did throw the shirt and the jersey back at him. All the Iowa gear that he had in my locker, and I was mad. But uh, <laughs> to say <laughs> to say that I cursed back at him I was like, dude, that that did not happen. I remember seeing that clip actually. I'm like, what oh. the heck, George? Okay. <laughs> Is that, is that that's the, what the heck is that that's the ceiling of your cursing is what you're saying so th- this has been going on since day one since brock purdy entered the 49ers locker room of course george kittle's been giving him a hard time because of his alma mater iowa and of course brock coming from iowa state so in state rivals in locker room uh, rivals apparently uh, but all, all together, a lot of good fun. And uh, again, just th- these types of stories. But again, it's just really cool to see these guys having fun in the locker room and, uh, you know, having a good time and uh, letting us in on it. It's always a part of the fun as well. What did you guys think about this whole situation? Let me know in the comments below. And what should the next, because uh, obviously this rivalry is going to keep going. I need you guys to propose the next, I don't know, I don't even know, the punishment, the next punishment from from this rivalry, Um, because I can only imagine it. They've already got, they've already switched helmets and done the headgear, so they're going to have to do something else. So I'm excited to see what that's going to be, but you drop your best ideas in the comments below, and as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.